everybody. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson, and we're set for the kickoff. It will be John Smith of the, of the New England Patriots kicking off to either Kurt Sohn or Johnny Lamb Jones of the New York Jets as the Jets won the toss. A gorgeous afternoon. The temperature in the 60s and the sun is shining. Lamb Jones fumbles it back into the end zone, and then he makes the mistake and decides to run it out and will be dropped at the two-yard line. Since he did not have possession, he could have recovered it in the end zone and had the ball at the 20. Ken Toller down very quickly for the Patriots, so the Jets go to work offensively following a kickoff mistake by Johnny Lamb Jones. Let's look at the offense of the New York Jets. Richard Todd is the quarterback. They are hurting at running backs. It will be Bruce Harper and Mike Augustiniak, but Augustiniak has an ankle injury. Only Bruce Harper, in reality, of the seven running backs, is in good health. The receivers, Wesley Walker, who has been having an outstanding last couple of ball games. Derek Gaffney will start on the other side, and Jerome Barkham is the tight end. They show motion out of the backfield. That is Gaffney. The give is to Bruce Harper. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and not that much more. Bill Matthews is there as we look to the offensive line of the Jets. It's intact of Chris Ward, Randy Rasmussen, Joe Fields, Dan Alexander, and Marvin Powell. Defensively, the New England Patriots will show a basic 3-4 lineup. And that front three is aging. It is Tony McGee, Richard Bishop, and Julius Adams, and they are all over 30 years of age. Second down and 10. They mark it for no gain. And so Richard Todd faces a passing situation early in the ballgame in his own territory, but he gives instead to Augie Augustinian. And he comes out to the nine-yard line. He'll pick up six. It'll be third down and around four as Bill Matthews and Rod Schoet bring him down at that point. That front three for the New England Patriots, Tony McGee, Richard Bishop, and Julius Adams. The four linebackers, Mike Hawkins, Bob Golick, Bill Matthews, and Rod Schoet. And the secondary, they are all number one draft choices, and they are second in the AFC in pass defense. Claiborne, Haynes, Sanford, and Fox. And that secondary is a very good secondary, Charlie. And right now, New York Jets are faced with a passing situation. And they better get things moving because they're running down on the 25 32nd clock, they're going to have to call timeout. So two early mistakes against the Jets. The first, the, the muff is it officially called by Lamb Jones on about the two-yard line, the ball into the end zone. He would have downed at that point. It could have come out to the 20-yard line. And now they take, what are we, a minute and a half into the ballgame, they take the first of three timeouts. So we'll go away for a moment. We have no score. Early in the ballgame, we'll be back in a moment. Turn on today, weekday mornings, and wake up to what's happening. All right, this is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson. We thought we were going away for a commercial break, but surprise of surprises, we're back here at Shea Stadium. Charlie, you mentioned something about Lamb Jones making a, really a crucial mistake early in the ball game. And that is not downing the ball in the end zone, putting it on the 20 yard line. They back themselves up right now. If the Patriots should stop them, then they should be in excellent field position. And for the Patriots, what they want to do is keep that defense off the field. They want they want field position for the Jets like they are right now, where they've got a long way to go. And the play selection is limited when you're about one or two yards away from your goal line. But right now it looks like Todd is in a passing situation because he needs at least three yards more more like four yards to go to pick up the first down and the Patriots will come with a four man rush as Ray Hamilton is in that front line defensively Bruce Harper and Tom Newton are now the two running backs going after him. Todd's pass is incomplete Wesley Walker the intended receiver and Ray Claiborne had the coverage and that means that Chuck Ramsey will come on to kick for the Jets and the Patriots would have excellent field position. Ron Earhart said they were going to have a few new wrinkles and things they're going to do defensively. And, and right now you're looking at number 28 or 48. That is the free safety Fox going on the safety blitz, meaning that there is man to man coverage in the secondary. Claiborne had to guard his man all over the field. If he'd have broken loose and caught the pass, it could have been a long, long touchdown. And there's not that much wind in Shea Stadium this afternoon as Mike Haynes is set for the return of the punt of Chuck Ramsey. Not that good a catch. 
but takes a New York Jet bounce and will go out of bounds at the New England 49 yard line. So the Patriots take over following that kick of 41 yards. They'll have a first down, and now we'll try once again to take our time out. We have no score. We're early in the ball game at Shea Stadium, so stay with us this afternoon. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. Down here in Texas, people know a good beer. Many choose the taste of my Schlitz. Just one glass to tell a lot of beer drinkers what I've known all along. You just can't buy a better tasting beer than Schlitz. What do I really think? I think Schlitz tastes better than Miller. Schlitz tastes really smooth. Mr. Selinger, your Schlitz tastes good. It really does. I'm glad you like it. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. At J.C. Penney Auto Centers, we won't steer you wrong. We will steer you to the amazing J.C. Penney Mileage Maker XP All-Season Steel Belted Radio for great traction in any road conditions. And right now, save $28 to $68 on a set of four. The Mileage Maker XP with the unique interlock block tread. Season in, season out. The only tire you need, only at J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney Auto Centers. Let's take a look at the offensive set of the New England Patriots. Mike, uh, Matt Cavanaugh at quarterback with the rookie Tony Collins and Don Callahan, the two running backs. Stanley Morgan and Harold Jackson are the wide receivers. And Hasselbeck is the tight end. And there is the offensive line of Wheeler, Hannah, Brock, Kreider, and Jordan. I think you said Callahan. It's Calhoun out I'm of sorry, K, K State. Don Calhoun. That's a man. And he gets the call. They had spotted at the 50-yard line, and he'll pick up two, maybe three yards where Stan Blinka makes the tackle. So let's look now to the defense of the New York Jets, basically in a 4-3 with Gastineau, Salam, Lyons, and Clicko up front. The linebackers, Greg Buttle, Stan Blinka, and Lance Mel. Quite a story on Mel last week with uh, changes at corners, Jerry Holmes and Donald Dykes, Ken Troy and Daryl Ray at the safety spots. And now, Mosi Tatupu comes in. Calhoun comes out. Offensively, second down and eight. Kavanaugh's pass is complete. Bouncing off of would-be tacklers is the rookie running back, Tony Collins, and Lance Mel finally brings him down. Mel, number 56, last week before the game in the locker room, the big locker slipped off and fell on his foot. He had to have five stitches in his big toe. Didn't bother him at all. Went out and played Charlie, very that, well. That's when things are going bad, <laughs> when you're getting hurt in the locker room before you even get out on the field. 44 yard line so it's third down and four Andy Johnson comes in so he and Collins are the two setbacks Johnny Lynn comes into the secondary for the Jets they have five men to throw against Johnson an excellent receiver out of the backfield also he can throw on the option scramble by Kavanaugh has the first down He's learning, hits for the sideline. Yeah, he better learn not to slow up when he gets near the sideline, though, Charlie. He did slow up once he got the first down, but I found uh, a long time ago that you don't stop just because there's a white line there at the sideline. You keep going four or five yards past that line to make sure someone doesn't take a cheap shot at you. But you're taking a look right now. John Hanna, 73, considered the best off of offensive lineman in the league and here you uh, look at the secondary and they're all getting depth underneath is a receiver coming underneath almost running into one of his own men now they see the scramble and now it's the uh, job of the receivers to turn up field and turn into a blocker try to get in somebody's way first down fake of the reverse they wanted to throw a delayed screen and now he throws it away good play by Kavanaugh excellent play he would have taken about a 15 yard loss had he not gotten rid of that football. They fake on the reverse, and then they want to throw the screen to Stanley Morgan. Well, uh, the head coach Earhart said they're going to have a few new razzle-dazzles, and this is about as razzly and a dazzly as you can get, but unfortunately, the Jets read it very well. Kavanaugh is quick on his feet. He was able to escape the defensive lineman, Mark Gastineau, threw the ball away. Saved about 15 yards. So it's the 33-yard line of the Jets, second down and 10. Kavanaugh's pass is complete. Tight end. Hasselbeck has it. Is hit and down at the 22-yard line. 
Dan Blinko was there. They'll mark the ball dead at around the 23. And they'll bring it back to spot it because it is in the neighborhood of the first down. Taking a look at first quarter score, New Orleans leading Philadelphia 7 to nothing. George Rogers, uh, five yard run for the score, and Philadelphia is the only unbeaten, untied team in the National Football League. Taking a look at the head coach of the Jets, Walt Michaels. Very concerned right now because even if they don't have a first down, they're definitely in field goal range. And they've got the first. So a pair of first downs in the drive for the New England Patriots that started at the 50 yard line. Patriots really they haven't had problems offensively. It's been defense. It's been a problem. They've been giving up almost 220 yards per game rushing. That means the other team has the football. They're maintaining possession of the football and the offense is on the sideline. It's a first down New England. No score. 11 05 left to go. We're in the first quarter at Shea Stadium. Tony Collins. We'll mark it for no gain as Gastineau and Salam are both there. It'll be second down and ten. And once, once again getting into a situation where Kavanaugh is going to have to go to the air. See some more substitutions coming in for the New England Patriots. Vegas Ferguson coming into the ball game. Mosi Tatupu. Tatupu in also. One of the defensive uh, linemen. In the National Football League, Los Angeles, out in front of Atlanta, seven. I think said that bringing down Tatupu was like tackling a soft drink machine. <laughs> Reverse. Reverse. Harold Jackson. Excellent read by the defense. The flag is down. Lance Mel, the outside linebacker on the right side, made the tackle. And now we'll check out the flag. I might be going against the uh, New England Patriots. Offensive holding. A loss of about five yards on the play, so it'd be third and 15 or second and 20. But as you mentioned a moment ago, field goal range becomes crucial in this offensive thrust by the New England Patriots. They may refuse this penalty. The Patriots are looking to go with three wide receivers. Illegal block. Above the waist from the rear. 58 offense is the climb. It's third down. The call on Pete Rock, the center. It'll be third and 15. They wanted to take that down away from him. They lost about five downs on the play, so did not want to give them two downs to pick up additional yardage. Hasselbeck in motion from the shotgun. The first sack of the ball game and the 18th on the year for the Jets, and it is Joe Klecko who got it. Klecko now has five and a half on the year, and that means that he keeps his string intact of being involved in a sack in every ball game. You would know that he was injured. He's got a foot and an ankle injury. As you can see, Joe Klecko going off the field rather slowly, coming back, passing situation. The Jets know it, and you can see Klecko just sheds. The blocker Dwight Wheeler number 62 and gets to the quarterback. Now they were in field goal range. Now they're back punting the football. Ken Hartley. The new punter for New England hits on the 10 and goes into the end zone for the touchback will bring it out to the 20 yard line. Where the Jets will be moving on offense. We have nine minutes and 45 seconds. Time remaining in the first quarter and we have no score between New England and the Jets following that 37 yard kick. We'll be back in a moment. Let's talk about prices and let's talk about interest rates. The average buyer, I need to tell this group, has literally been jolted by the so-called, one of you guys coined it, I guess, sticker shock when he walks into a new car showroom. We're going to try today to declare war on sticker shock. We will hold the price line on Omni Horizon Miser and custom models, and we will hold the line on the base prices of all of our low-end Aries Reliant two-door and four-door models. We're really proud of the new products we're bringing out. Food, clothes, just about everything seems to cost more today. One reason young families think they can't afford life insurance. Allstate update, lower life insurance rates. Now, all states cut prices up to 20% on a lot of their life insurance. 
like this $100,000 level term policy that now only costs a 28-year-old father about $19 a month. Before you buy, come in and compare. For life, home, or auto, you're in good hands with Allstate. Premiering Saturday, October 24th, it's the Nashville Palace for music and comedy. Only the best play the palace on NBC. Joe Klecko, at age 27, one of the premier defensive ends in the National Football League. Charlie, I was mentioning about the, the L.A. Atlanta score. The L.A. leads 7 to nothing. Leroy Irving, 75-yard punt return. And I think that's the second one they've had this year. And they didn't have one prior to this year since Dick Bassett 20 years ago. Tied to throw on first down swing. Right side to Bruce Harper. Harper is running room. Near the 40-yard line before Bill Matthews brings him down. A quick pickup of 20 yards on the play and a first down. Screen pass, excellent blocking by the offensive lineman out in front of Bruce Harper. And that's what the Jets would like to do. Get this little guy out in front with a blocker or two and make those linebackers and defensive backs come up with a tackle. He's the fastest man on this New York Jet football team. And the second fastest man is Mark Gastineau, the defensive end. That's not, shouldn't be permitted. He's under 4-6 in the fourth. Todd's complete. Wesley Walker. And Walker picks up 19. Dodge New England 41-yard line. First down. Bob Golick makes the tackle, and Bill Matthews was also there. I'd said in the pregame show that what the Jets would like to do would run against this Patriot team because they're giving up over 200 yards a game rushing but they don't have that many healthy backs and so what they're doing they're utilizing Harper getting the ball to him on screen passes but they're going to throw that ball downfield to those great wide receivers the strongest defen defensive unit for the Patriots is their secondary that is three in a row this time to Jerome Barkham the tight end Rick Sanford had the coverage 35 yard line a gain of six second down and four they are doing what they've been doing so very well the last couple of weeks. Richard Todd has passed for over 300 yards. The last two ball games, seven touchdown passes. So if you're doing something well, continue to do it. Don't stop just for the sake of stopping and trying something new. It was first Harper, then Walker, then Barkham. And this year, Todd has thrown to a total of 13 different receivers. Augustiniak. He keeps burrowing his way, trying to pick up the first down. He needed four. Mike Hawkins and Tony McGee were there to stop him. Rod Schott also in on the play defensively. Mike Augustiniak. Free agent. They'll bring the chains out about a yard shy. Todd has completed three of four for 42 yards thus far. Charlie, you notice a lot of their backs are around the same size. Now, he's 5'11 and 220 pounds. Freeman McNeil, their number one draft choice, 5'11, 225 pounds. And with great speed and with that type of bulk and size, it's very difficult to bring them down as they are running very close to the ground. Steve King in on defense, offensively for the Jets. Steve Stevens comes in as the second tight end. Three running backs are Scott Durking, Tom Newton, and Kevin Long. And Long becomes the key man in the short yardage situation with Newton as the blocker off on the right side. They give instead to Durking with Long leading the way, and he's got the first down. Picked up seven yards to the 25. Third first down in this drive for the New York Jets. Ray Claiborne, defensive left cornerback, makes the tackle. Scott Durkin coming into the ball game is uh, having some injury problems but he had some excellent blocking and there's a fine hole right there as you can see when he ran right through it picking up some excellent yardage and he leaves the ball game right now to the sidelines. They will spot uh, use Scott Durkin. He's got a thigh injury and a running back is going to get hit on his legs all day if he's in there for any length of time. Quick screen. Wesley Walker. 
A gain of one is Mike Haynes diagnosed the strategy. It'll be second down and nine at the 24 yard line. It's talking about the cornerbacks of the New England Patriots. They were in fact you said all four of the secondary number one draft choices and you got a pretty good example right there why they are because Mike Haynes had Wesley Walker and Wesley was putting all the moves that he knew in his yeah. repertoire but Mike was not going to go for it and stopped him right near the line of scrimmage for about a half a yard gain. In addition to the four starters Roland James one of the backup safeties also a number one draft choice four three defensive set second and nine. Todd usually throws in this situation. He splits his He's back. pace checking off. You can see right now he's checking the play. Five receivers are out. Drills this one on target to Bruce Harper. 12 yard line. First down. Mike Haynes and Rod Schott were there for the defense. That was an excellent catch by Bruce Harper because the ball was thrown behind him. But he concentrated on that football and made sure first things first. And you see so many backs don't do that. They're thinking about running. He checked this, this playoff at the line of scrimmage. You can see number 65, Joe Fields, coming back to give protection. The ball is thrown behind, but he makes a fine reception and a first down for the New York Jets. 12-yard line. Todd, now five of six, the last five in a row. A total of 55 yards through the air for Richard. First down, 12-yard line. Now you look Todd at turns around. He knows he had him for you a quick do not, You don't get that many opportunities when you have a man wide open. And sometimes you can look at Barkham smiling coming back, knowing that all he had to do is get the ball too many. It would have been six, six points. Barkham, the tight end, is going to the right side of the, the end zone. You can see right there he's wide open. The ball thrown way behind him. For the Patriots, they can say thank you very much, Richard. You haven't done that lately. But we appreciate it. That would have been a touchdown. They can also thank Mike Hawkins, who was <laughs> jumping up and down on his face at the time. Second and 10, 12 yard line of New England. No score. 4.53 left to go, first quarter. Todd to throw. Same spot, and it's incomplete. This time going to Walker, who slipped. Ray Claiborne had the coverage on it. So it's third down. You know, sometimes in the past, the Jets have thrown, Todd's thrown passes, and they'd be bouncing off the players. And couldn't catch it the last couple of weeks uh, even though I know that there's no stick them out there because that's against the rules the Jets have been making some fantastic catches Harper made a very nice one here just a couple of plays ago that time I'm sure that Walker would have had an excellent chance to catch the football but he slipped because of the turf down. Bruce Harper and Tom Newton the setbacks the New England Patriots a four man front and five in the secondary two linebackers third and ten 12 yard line. And the Patriots are there looking like they're going to be coming with everybody. And a flag is dropped. Too much time. Violation of the 32nd clock. So that is now three mistakes that the Jets have made in the first quarter. One by Lamb Jones, another a team mistake when they had some confusion, had to take a timeout way, way too soon in the first half. They now have only two remaining in here. Charlie, I might make a, a note. There were 11 people up off, on and near that line of scrimmage. Richard Todd was looking, and he probably wanted to check off. He might have had a play called where he couldn't. So rather than call timeout, he might have taken the five yards. Now, that is a possibility. I don't know if that's the case, but I know that the last time that and the, the Patriots are up there again. You take a look at all 11 people up close to the line of scrimmage. But it doesn't affect field goal range. Flag is down. Markham makes the catch in the end zone. Let's see if it'll stand up. Todd was decked right after he made the release. He was nailed by uh, Mike Hawkins, number 59 of the Patriots, as he released the football. It'll go against the Patriots. Holding, of course, refused. An 80-yard drive. It took just over five minutes. Here's another look. A lot of pushing and shoving down there, but that was an excellent reception by Markham right off his fingertips. As I said just a minute ago, sometimes the ball bounces off of the shoulder pads of players, and other times... No matter what you throw up out there, your men come up with the football. That's the case the last couple of weeks for the Jets.
extra point by Pat Leahy is good. And so the New York Jets are out in front of the New England Patriots by a score of 7 to nothing, with 4.44 left to go in the first quarter. What's the Midas touch? It's using specially coated steel. To help our mufflers last. It's putting in a louver tube. To help your engine run easy. It's having a tuning chamber. To help your car run quietly. It's manufacturing our own mufflers. For over 25 years. And it's standing behind them. In writing. It's getting the right mufflers at the right price. Get the Midas touch. Nobody else has it. Oh, yeah. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. The people in St. Louis know their beer, but as a master brewer... Schlitz, sir. Thank you. I know one taste of my Schlitz can change a lot of minds, and now more people know. I like Schlitz better than Bud. I'm a Miller drinker, but you have to taste Schlitz to believe it. Mr. Sillinger, your Schlitz tastes good. It's a good-tasting beer. Here's to it. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. Pat Leahy, who added the extra point, will be kicking off, and the deep back is the rookie Tony Collins, taken in the second round of the draft from East Carolina at 5'11", 202 pounds. Fourth in rushing in the AFC this year. And he takes it over his shoulder, four yards deep, and he decides to run it out. And that will cost them about three yards. He gets to the 17. He would have downed it. He would have gotten to the 20, and Johnny Lynn makes the tackle. That's youth for you. You know, take the exuberance of youth, you can run it all the way. Another right? thought. See, when you start bringing it out, then you're going to take a chance also that uh, somebody's going to be using their hands illegally or, or clipping, and you go further back. You're better off when you hesitate like that, down it, take over on the 20-yard line. Because you can march 80 yards because the Jets just did it on that last drive. 80-yard drive in 10 plays. It took five minutes plus a second. So the Patriots need to get an offensive surge underway right now. Collins gets the call. From the 17 to the 23, he has six. It'll be second and four. Greg Buttle makes the tackle. Six-yard gain is an excellent gain, and that's the reason you can do that is because up front, they have some outstanding people with that, that Patriot offensive line, particularly 73, John Hanna. We'll be watching John Hanna during the course of this afternoon to see why people say he is the best in the National Football League. Collins again gets the call. Good move to the 40-yard line. So he picks up a quick 17 and a first down. Now for an update, let's join Brian Gumbel. Okay, Chaz, out at Arrowhead Stadium, the AFC's leading scorer has put the Chiefs on the board. Nick Lowry doing the honors, right-footed from 52 yards out. It's as long as any field goal in the AFC this year. Chiefs lead the Raiders 3-0. Charlie? Thank you, Brian. 52 yards, he said. Nick Lowry. Lowry is leading the... Uh... Leading the conference, and I think strong the, wind on the prairies. <laughs> I'd have had a gale there at Arrowhead. <laughs> Vegas Ferguson, and he will pick up about three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. Last week, Ferguson had his first carry of the year. He's been bothered by some injuries the first part of the season. And he is a, he's a very very fine back. Oh yes. I can see what Earhart is is doing when he was talking to you before the ball game, Charlie. That he wants to maintain that ball on the ground to keep that defense off. Steve Grogan, number 14. In a role that he does not like. I know that being the competitor that he is, he wants to play. Four men in the secondary. Five men in the secondary, rather. The pass is complete out of the backfield to Collins. He reverses at the 40, 37-yard line of New York. So the offense has been Tony Collins, both on the ground and as a receiver. Excellent throw by Matt Cavanaugh. And he just got rid of it in time because he was getting some heat from his outside. Now getting the ball out to his receiver. See, you can see right now defensive man coming in, but a fine throw catches it on the dead run and gets by the linebacker. Now he's going to try to make a move upfield, and he will, and make some additional yardage. But once again, it's a first down, and they are moving the football. A gain of 20 yards on the play. Blinka and Mel both blitzing. First down. Collins. Joe Coleco. Gain of one. 
second and nine. I thought he had a bad foot and a bad ankle, but he's been moving around out there like a. But a great attitude. <laughs> That's right. Shows you the quickness of these big men. You were talking about Mark Gastineau running a 40 yard dash at 280 pounds in less than 4.6 seconds. That's right. I'm glad I'm retired. In my second life, I want his body <laughs> when I come back. <laughs> second down and nine. Kavanaugh to throw. Deep over the middle, has a man, and he hits him right on the numbers. It's Harold Jackson. Jackson to the 10 yard line. 26 yards on the play. Ken Shroy makes the tackle. Now the Patriots, you will recall, started this drive at their 17. And they have been picking the defense of the Jets apart. Credit that offensive line with an outstanding job of pass blocking because Kavanaugh went back in that pocket and he had an opportunity to now you can look right there he can see nobody's bothering his vision nobody has a hand up no, in his gun. face gun and he can step and he can throw and he had Harold Jackson wide open gave Harold Jackson an opportunity to go downfield maneuver around and find the open spot the offensive line made that play work Kavanaugh is hit four or five for 59 yards through the air Ferguson Lance Bell makes the tackle. Six yard line. Gain of about five. It'll be second down and five. Offensively, the New England Patriots are using their backs in a similar fashion to the New York Jets. They keep rotating the backs in and out. Now it is Tatupu and Collins in the backfield. It is a different area down near the goal line. It takes a different type of back. You want a back that has that is strong, that runs straight ahead very, very well, and look out. That's, That's the, the end, end of the quarter. Into the first quarter. So after one quarter, it's the New York Jets seven, the New England Patriots nothing, but they threaten. We'll be back to see if they score in just a moment. Nowadays, there are all sorts of ways of saving and investing money that help fight inflation. The problem is finding the one that's most profitable for you, because now you're forced to swim through all kinds of confusing details. Maturity dates, minimum deposits, interest rates, even tax benefits. But there is a way to escape all this confusion. It's by calling or visiting your full-service bank. For professional guidance with high-yield savings, it's all the bank you'll ever need. Introducing America's highest mileage six-passenger driving machine, the 1982 Dodge Aries K, with improved engine performance for even better mileage than last year. With front-wheel drive, rack and pinion steering, and improved suspension for even better ride and performance than last year. With so much that's new and exciting, the most incredible news for 82 is what isn't new. The price, still America's lowest-priced, highest mileage six-passenger front-wheel drive car, the 1980 Aries K Coupe, America's driving machine. This is Brian Gumbel in New York. Out at Three Rivers Stadium, the Steelers have capped off a 97-yard drive with this scoring toss of nine yards. Brad shot a stalwart, moved the Steelers ahead of the Browns 7-0. Let's go back to Shea. All right, thank you, Brian, for that update. As we start the second quarter here, it is the Jets 7 and the New England Patriots nothing. Second down and five at the New York Jets six-yard line. And so many times in the National Football League after one team scores, the other team comes right back with a strong drive. The Patriots started this at their 17-yard line, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Tony Collins. Good defensive play. Lance Bell drops Collins for a loss of a couple of yards. It was an excellent play because now the situation is that Kavanaugh is going to have to go back and throw that football. And he made a couple of yards. They could have used two downs to try to get into the end zone. Actually, they don't have to get into the end zone to pick up a first down. But he's in a situation now where he's going to have to throw the football. Morgan goes to the far side. The Jets have five men in the secondary. Rolling right, throwing right, pass is complete. Jackson back stepping out of bounds just inside the two or the one yard line on the far side. Let's see where they spotted it. It's near the first down marker. I don't believe he made. 
get the first down and he had to turn around Charlie to make the catch and he, was, he caught it going backwards had he uh, caught it in full stride would he been able to turn up field he would have gotten into the end zone now Bill and Kindness is coming in and that means that Brock Pete Brock the center will be moving over to tight end now Brock number 58 has to report this to the official of course it is fourth down and just a couple of feet but Brock, you may recall, in 1976, caught a touchdown pass here against the New York I Jets. remember that. I was here. I was here with you. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Fourth down, a couple of feet. You got it. Touchdown, New England. I don't think anybody would question that call going forward on fourth down when your record is one victory. When you're supposed to be a contender you can't be satisfied when you're down by the goal line and kick a field goal because you have to feel offensively that you ought to be able to get a yard any place on the football field whether it's on the one yard line or the middle of the field. Mose Tatupu scoring from a couple of yards out it's a seven to six ball game. Gavin ought to hold John Smith to attempt the point after 83 yard drive in 10 play for the tie and they've got it. It is now New England 7 and the Jets 7 with 14-13 left to go in the first half. We're all tied up at Shea Stadium. We'll be back with a kickoff. If one plug goes wrong in an eight-cylinder car, you've still got seven left to pull you along. But if one goes wrong in a four-cylinder car, you've got problems. Autolite spark plugs are made for small engines. They've got a fused glass seal in here to give you full power and a wide heat range that helps stop misfiring and fouling at low speeds. If you have a small car, why not get a plug made for small engines? Autolite. Denny's introduces the Beefadelphia sandwich. We grill lean beef, juicy and tender. Melt rich mozzarella cheese over the top. Add succulent grilled onions. Cover with a soft French roll and serve it all for the special introductory price this month of only $2.99. The new Beefadelphia sandwich only at Denny's, where you'll like our prices and you'll love our food. Just imagine flying to Europe free. Just for flying TWA in the U.S. It's TWA's frequent flight bonus. Fly just 60,000 miles during the next 15 months and get two tickets to Europe free. Other bonuses start at just 10,000 miles. TWA, the only airline that offers two free tickets to Europe. You're gonna like us, TWA. You're gonna like us. John Smith set to kick off to either Kurt Sohn or Lamb Jones. Taken at the 11-yard line by Sohn. And he returns it to about the 28-yard line. So 17 yards on the return, and Smith's kickoff was not that deep. Zamberlin and Matthews on the tackle. Let's take a look at the scoring play, and you can see number uh, 26 is Dykes, the cornerback. He is knocked out. Excellent block, knocking him out and creating a cavity or a hole inside where Tatupu could go inside to make the score. There's a very simple reason. Why, why plays work, and that's because of execution. And that last block was an excellent one. I believe it was by Pete Brock, the center who moved over to the tight end position, the short yardage. Augustiniak picks up nine yards on the play. They had marked the ball at the 29-yard line. He goes to the 38. It'll be second down one as Hawkins and Sanford make the tackle at that point. I think we can see right now why Ron Earhart, the head coach, decides to go for a touchdown because he wants to, to keep that defense off the field. Los Angeles now leading Atlanta by the score of 13 to nothing. Two field goals by Frank Coriel, 25 and 37 yards. Philadelphia in front of New Orleans, 14-7. Yes, sir. Jaworski throwing a touchdown pass. Second down, and it was closer than we thought. Walt Michaels, the head coach of the New York Jets. Jets on the far sideline, New England Patriots on the near sideline. Gorgeous afternoon. Temperature in the mid 60s. Sun is out. Few clouds in the sky. And just a light breeze at Shea Stadium. And for Shea Stadium, a light breeze is a blessing. 
because the wind can really whip around in this stadium. Lamb Jones is in the slot on the left side. The quick pitch is to Bruce Harper. Harper's got the first down. Across the 50 into Patriot territory. New England 47 yard line. Marvin Powell, number 79, the right tackle leading the way. Shows you what a big man can do. Marvin Powell has been hampered with injuries, and he is playing today, but he was out in front of Bruce Harper, who is the fastest man on the team. 42 is Harper. Out in front of him, right there, number 79 is Marvin Powell. Gets an excellent block, paving the way for Harper. Look at now, Harper's no dummy. He's following that big man. Wherever you go, Marvin, I'm going to go right behind you. First down, New England 47 yard line. Augustiniak, the remaining back, he swings left. Dodd throws under pressure, and it is intercepted at the 26 yard line. The Patriots have the turnover. Rick Sanford with the interception. Richard Todd was decked right after he made his release, and Tony McGee is the man who brought him down. He was looking downfield to his halfback, Harper, but the pass was nowhere near Bruce Harper. Here's the interception, the first turnover of the ball game. And you can see right, right there that there is no New York Jet around. 25, Rick Sanford coming up with the football. Richard Todd, fortunately, though, as we're looking at this replay, Richard Todd is walking off the field, and he does not look to be seriously injured. So. That is only the fifth interception of the year for the New England Patriots, and Sanford has his first one. We've got a timeout, 12.34 left to go in the first half. We're tied at seven. When I'm not making music with the Charlie Daniels Band, you'll find me here at home in Tennessee. And where you find me, you'll find my skull. I just take a little pinch and put it between my cheek and gum, and it sure feels good. In fact, I think going smokeless is the only way to go. And my place here, <laughs> that's something I just can't get too much of. Enjoy tobacco without lighting up. Try Skull, Copenhagen, or Happy Days. A pinch is all it takes. Some people thought it was risky to taste test my Schlitz against other top beers on live TV. But not our people here at Schlitz. We figured a lot of beer drinkers would pick Schlitz over their beer. And they did. Second hopping, Russ? Right. In my 40 years as a master brewer, I've never been more proud of my people or my beer. We'll keep brewing great beer, so more of you will keep choosing it. Taste our Schlitz. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. Next Sunday, join host Brian Gumbel for NFL 81. All the highlight scores and late breaking news from all the games in regional NFL action featuring the game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Check your local issues, game and time in your area. Next Sunday, we start it all with NFL 81. New England, a first down on their own 47 yard line. Kavanaugh has completed five of six for 65 yards. Far sideline, pass is complete. May have picked up the first down. Harold Jackson pulled it in. Ken Shroy had the coverage on Harold. Jackson has been averaging just over 21 yards of reception. Philadelphia continuing now. They're leading New Orleans 21 to 7. That's in the second quarter. They still have a great deal of respect for Harold Jackson's speed, don't they? You bet. They give him a lot of room, so he's capable of running that sideline pattern. And he runs patterns as, about as well as anybody in the National Football League. A gain of nine, second and one, Jackson in motion. Tatupu pulled down at the 41-yard line. We've got a first down. Lance Bell with a tackle. Now let's go to Bryant Gumbel. Charlie, in pursuit of their fourth straight win, the Pittsburgh Steelers are playing a tough out at Three Rivers, already leading 7-0. Jack Ham strips Charlie White of the ball. Gary Dunn recovers. Steelers in business, leading in the ball game. Charlie? Thank you, Brian. It's also nice to hear that Jack Ham is back playing. He's, like a couple of years ago, I consider him about the best outside linebacker in yes. the game. First down, New England, 41-yard line of the Jets. Good protection. Pass is tipped. It's intercepted. Jets had the football. Darrell Way, that is his fourth interception of the year. Back to back turnovers, and then the ball pops loose in a scramble for it at the 45 yard line. The Jets recover the fumble. They retain possession.
possession after the turnover. Now the Jets have something to, to cheer about because Stanley Morgan, number 86, had his hands on the football. And when you get your hands on the ball and it pops up in the air, generally there's a defensive man around. That ball looked like it should have been caught by Morgan. Kavanaugh throwing the ball. It is a little high, but you can see right there he had his hands on the football. Del Ray ever alert coming up with the interception, bringing it back to the 45-yard line of the Patriots. Excellent field position right now for the New York Jets. And credit Donald Dykes with a fumble recovery. A 34-yard interception return. 45-yard line of New England. Augustiniak. A couple of yards left side. 43-yard line. It'll be second down and eight as Rod Schott and Bill Matthews make the tackle. So we've had a pair of turnovers, one on each side. That evens things up. Billy Taylor comes into the ball game, the former Giant, acquired by the Jets on Thursday. Six feet even, 215 pounds from Texas Tech in his fourth year in the National Football League. That doesn't sound like a Giant six feet tall. That's... Kind of like normal size, Charlie. Well, what about it sound like a Meadowland? No, you say <laughs> New York. New York. Time. Time. I right. see. Augustiniak, 19 yards and four carries. Second and eight. Jets stay on the ground. Taylor gets the call. And he'll get a couple of yards. It'll be third down and six. Rod Schott with the tackle. First carry of Billy Taylor as a New York Jet. And he got hit by... The nose guard Richard Hamilton about two yards deep in the end or uh, from the line of scrimmage but he kept moving and picked up a couple of yards. Third down and six and Richard Todd in a position right now where he's going to have to throw the football. The Patriots have five men in the secondary. Dodge pass is there. So the Jets have the first down. They have now converted four out of four third down opportunities. Roland James with the tackle. Bobby Jones pulled it in at the 30-yard line, a gain of 11 and a first down. Charlie, you know, we've seen Richard Todd many times, and I don't think I've seen him look any better. He is sharp, quick, and on target. He is firing that ball, and there isn't much hesitation to uh, his decisions as to where to go. He was reading that defense, and he is firing the football. He did throw... A couple of bad passes, one that was intercepted, and the other one to Barkham that he threw behind him. But other than those two, he's been throwing the ball very well. At the Patriot 30-yard line. First down. Into double coverage incomplete. A flag will be dropped against the Patriots. Barkham was bottled up and the pass was over the other shoulder he had to turn around and look for it I think what it was it's if it's against uh, Tim Fox who the referee or the umpire was pointing his finger at it is really a big break for the Jets because I believe Richard Todd was just throwing that football away he was looking for his his man in the corner of the end zone and he had two defensive men around him so he wisely just threw it over everybody Tim Fox and Rick Sanford had excellent position as far as the coverage was concerned. Here is the pass into the end zone by everybody, really, as you can see right there. Over through everybody. The flag went down. The finger was pointed at number 48, Tim Fox. 48 on the defense. Right there is where they call it. It's first down. So it becomes a 29-yard penalty. The ball at the one-yard line is first down goal to go. King and Long are the two setbacks. Durking. Flag is down. Durking into the end zone, but a flag is down. It'll be holding against the New York Jets. That is the preliminary call from Richard Todd. Yes. That's there what he is signaled an, to the bench. Go ahead. There is an area you never want to do that. Because you take your seat. You're there down there at the goal line to penalize yourself. If you're going to miss a man, don't take a chance. Holding on the number two tight end, Steve Stevens. Don't take a chance. Even if you miss your man, that doesn't mean the man's going to make the tackle. If he makes the tackle, it's still going to be at the line of scrimmage. Now they put him back on the 11-yard line. And it's first down goal to go at the 11. Changes the complexion. 
Well, they had four shots to get it in from the one yard line. Harper and Augustiniak back in the ball game. Delayed draw left side. Augustiniak is decked at the five yard line, but he got six. It'll be second down goal to go. It's a good play, six yards, but still going back to the penalty. They're on the six yard line and it's second down. As opposed to having a touchdown or even second down and one at the at the one yard line. That's why there are certain areas you really don't take a chance on on coming up with a penalty. Bill Matthews Tim Fox on the tackle at the five yard line second down goal to go. Although the Jets have committed a few they lead the league in penalties. He was just throwing that ball away. He was looking and he he really didn't have anybody immediately around him but you can sense and feel pressure back there when you've been playing quarterback long enough and you know after a certain amount of time it's time to do something and Richard said let's get it up into the stands. Don now has completed seven of eleven for eighty six yards. Augustiniak has five carries for twenty seven yards. Third down goal five yard line. Has pressure. It is tipped. It is caught. Jerome Markham, his second touchdown reception of the ball game. He now has five on the year on a tip ball. But when the breaks start going your way, they continue. Last week against Miami, they had some some plays that they felt that were very fortunate for the Jets. Number 83. Jerome Barkham. He was not the primary receiver. He's drifting back in the end zone. The ball is thrown. You can see Tim Fox. Everybody left. It was tipped by 44, and that would be Tom Newton, the back for the New York Jets. And Leahy puts it through. The extra point is good. So the score, the New York Jets 14, the New England Patriots 7. Jerome Barkham now has three receptions, two of them for touchdown. Can an American driving machine outdistance every Datsun on the highway? If we put a gallon of gas in every Datsun and a gallon in the 1982 Dodge Omni Miser, here's what would happen. One by one, every Datsun would run out. But Omni Miser would keep driving on and on because Omni Miser has the highest highway mileage of any five-passenger American car and the lowest price. And at $54.99, the 82 Dodge Omni Miser doesn't cost a dollar more this year than it cost at the end of last year. 1948, Harry Truman was president. Joe DiMaggio hit 320. Gas was 25 cents a gallon. And Michelin came out with a new kind of tire, the radial. Over the years, radials have saved billions of gallons of gas. And today, more than half the tires on the road are radials. Keep it up, America. The more we ride on radials, the more fuel we save. Michelin's been making the tire for the 80s since 1948. Michelin, we put America on radials. They've won their respective division, the best four teams in baseball. So be there for all the action of the league championship playoffs starting Tuesday night on the home of great baseball, NBC Sports. Pat Leahy will be kicking off, and Tony Collins is the deep back. Takes it a yard deep. 10, 15, 20. Flag is down. He returns to the 27-yard line, a return of 28 yards, but we'll check out the flag. Johnny Lynn makes the tackle. Generally on a kickoff return, with the exception of face masking by the kicking team, the penalties generally go against the receiving team. Richard Todd has thrown for nine touchdowns in the last two and a half games. He's on a roll, isn't he? He's he really hot. is. And like you said, he is throwing as well as we've ever seen him throw. And he's making decisions. The one, the one pass that he threw. First down. Well, the officials decided that it was no foul. 
put the flag back in the pocket and we'll continue. He made a good move on uh, the second down situation. Here is the uh, the reception. That's like finding money, isn't it? Jerome Barkham's there, but the ball just. Uh, here he is coming off the line of scrimmage. 44 is Tom Newton, and he is the man that was the ball was thrown to. He touches it, he jumps up, and it pops up into the air. Fortunately for the Jets, Barkham is there for the touchdown. The second of the afternoon. Let's see if New England now can put together their second drive. The last time they moved 80 yards in 10 plays, and here's a sack. Abdul Salam and Joe Klecko pick up the second sack. For the Jets, who have a total of 19 on the year, New England on the other side has only three sacks. Now, there was a play action fake by Kavanaugh, but you can see the offensive tackle is backing up. So, what does that tell the defensive end? It doesn't tell him it's a running play, it tells him it's a pass play. So, that's why Klecko was right back in the face of the quarterback. What has to happen is that offensive tackle has to fire out at that defensive end to make him think that it's a run. Otherwise, why fake the ball to a back? Loss of 11, second and 21 on the draw. Tony Collins. Collins to the 20, and then goes out of bounds to the 25-yard line. So he picks up eight yards. Now let's take an update break. Charlie, this is Byron Day in New York. The Browns have never won at Three Rivers in 11 tries, and they're on the wrong end of the score right now. Dave Trout boots it in from 19 yards out. The Steelers lead 10-zip in the second. Charlie? Thank you, Byron. First time that you've joined us on our telecast today. I guess Brian is out uh, taking a little break, having a spot of coffee. Third down and 13. Johnny Lynn had the coverage. Morgan, the intended receiver. It made no difference because he was way shorter than the first down marker anyway. Situation like that, you must run your patterns deep enough that if you catch the football, you pick up the first down. Had he caught that ball the way he was running, he'd have run straight out of bounds anyway. Wouldn't have made it. Fourth down and 13. Chance to take a good look at Ken Hartley, the new kicker for the New England Patriots. He's from Ripton, Massachusetts. That's just four miles from Schaefer Stadium. And it's blocked. It is blocked by Johnny Lynn. And the Jets have the ball at the 29-yard line of New England. So Hartley is off to an inauspicious start. What did you say? Let's take a look at him. <laughs> That's what Johnny Lynn did. Johnny Lynn took a very close look. Good angle by Johnny Lynn. He didn't go. If, uh, if he hadn't touched the ball, though, with touching the kicker's leg, it would have been a penalty. But he bobbled that ball. That was just enough time for Johnny Lynn to get in, get his hands up, get his hands on that football. Now the Jets, once again, an excellent field position. New England, 29-yard line. That punt goes in the books as a five-yard kick. They got the blitz on. They He's got there. He's got a touchdown. Wesley Walker. Richard Todd is now thrown for three touchdowns in the ball game. He beat Mike Hayes. Excellent timing that time, Charlie, by Richard Todd because they had the blitz on. They were coming after him. He got the ball off in the good hands of Wesley Walker coming up with a touchdown. Extra point is good. And the Jets pull away. It's a 21-7 ball game. Wesley Walker has three. Ray Jones, Lynn Dawson, Pat Leahy will be kicking off. The deep back is Tony Collins. 7.23, time remaining in the first half. The Jets lead by 14, 21 to 7. Richard Todd with three touchdown passes. Feel it at the one-yard line by Collins. 20. He turns it to about the 27-yard line. Now let's go back to that touchdown pass. Richard Todd back in, the back in the pocket, and they do have the blitz coming on. As you can see, the linebacker coming. He knows it's coming on. He throws his ball. It's a sideline and up pattern, and he throws it way before he makes
makes his final move. And you can see down in the corner of your screen that number 85, Wesley Walker, had a step on his man and was good for six points. A touchdown drive of 29 yards in one play took five seconds. And Wesley Walker now has scored six touchdowns receiving this year and leads the NFL in that category. Now New England goes to work at their own 27-yard line. Jackson comes in motion. The pass to Harold is a bit low. And we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. This is WNBC TV, New York. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. Seven minutes and eight seconds left to go in the second quarter at Shea Stadium. The New York Jets leading New England 21 to 7. Richard Todd has thrown three touchdown passes, two to Jerome Barkham, the second on a tip, and then to Wesley Walker. The New England Patriots scoring as Mosley Tatupu scored from two yards out, capping an 80 yard drive. Kavanaugh has completed six of nine for 74 yards. A touchdown and an interception. Tony Collins gets the call, and Abdul Salam is there to greet him. Patriots not moving that football and maintaining possession. And now, now we can understand why Ron Earhart, the head coach of the Patriots, made the statement that uh, he, he didn't want his defense on the field. Kansas City leading Oakland by the score of 10 to nothing. Now, Oakland is that's having good. their problem. That's the second quarter. They were shut out two games in a row, so that's uh, nine, quarters. nine quarters in a row. They have yet to score a point. Third down and nine. Cameron on the shotgun. As pressure goes deep into coverage. Incomplete. Ken Toller, the rookie from Mississippi, the attended receiver was Troy and Ray, the defensive back. A good play by Toller, 82, that young rookie, because the Jets were back there waiting to make the reception, and he ran into the defensive end, preventing him from catching it. Also you can see how deep, pass. yeah, see how deep the uh, the secondary is. Ray is back there, number 28 for the New York Jets. Ken Hartley kicking for the third time in the ball game. Second time was a disaster. Stone takes it, 37-yard line, to the 40, then reverses back to the 37. Fumbles. Is hit, fumbles. New England can have the ball. At the 31-yard line, they do. Tatupu, Mose Tatupu, scooped up the ball. So events keep turning around. That was a poor move on his part. He should have just continued to go straight ahead. When you start reversing your field, after you've you've gone uh, upfield, you're going to take a chance because that's giving all of those people an opportunity to get down there and get around the ball. He should have gotten as much as he possibly could, gotten out of bounds or downfield as far as he could. New England player injured. We'll be back to update. His situation at the 30-yard line, we've got a timeout. Is Lynn Dawson, L-I-N Dawson for Linwood. And he is the injured player, but he's coming out. Well, nobody ever had to carry me off the field. I always come up on my own. Why? What is that macho thing that you have to walk out off the field on your own, even with a broken leg, you want to do that? <laughs> That's because... If they hit me, those big guys hit me, I want all the help in the world getting off the field. Bring out the cart the ambulance and let them carry me. Bob Golick is the man who jarred the ball loose. And New England has the ball at the New York Jet 30-yard line in a first down. They trail 21-7. Calhoun gets the call. His forward progress is a yard to the 29. It's second down and nine. Mark Gastineau just wrapped him up in his arms. Running attack is not going right now for the Patriots, which is putting them in a position where They've got to put the ball up in the air on second down. Now they're second nine. They're going to have to throw the ball or have some sort of a uh, turnovers in the ball game. Patriots giving it up twice. Play action fake did not fake Joe Klecko. what they were trying to do they had an offensive lineman coming out that was uh, that was a designed play because Kavanaugh does have the ability to run with that football 
They were hoping that Klecko would chase the ball carriers or supposedly ball carriers, but here was a problem on that one. The offensive tackle didn't go that way. He went the other way, and that's who that defensive end is reading. He's reading the, the offensive tackle. Third down and 13. Deep into the corner. Incomplete is too far. Jackson, the intended receiver. Jerry Holmes had excellent coverage. Took him all the way to the back edge of the end zone. Ball took just too long to get there and gave the defensive end an opportunity to react. I think that uh, had he seen him earlier and fired that ball, much like Richard Todd did to Wesley Walker, Jackson might have had a touchdown because he was open momentarily. See, he's right there, and now he's waiting on the ball. Giving the defensive end an opportunity to, to catch up. Ken Hartley will be kicking for the corner. Might have it. He does have it. Let's see where they mark it out. No, they're going to rule it into the end zone. I thought that he had it. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. Mark They'll mark it at the Jets 20. They'll have a first down. They might mark that down. They had an excellent opportunity recovering that fumble, and they did not get any points. 446 is the time remaining in the first half, and the Jets lead by 14 points. 61 replacing Marvin Powell at right tackle. Powell's okay. He's been been bothered by a knee. He missed the last two ball games. Roman has been playing there and playing very well. He's in the ball game now. Dot has completed nine of 14 for 120 yards. Screen left side is to Augustiniak. From the 20 to the 23, a fumble and a scramble for it. And New England comes up with a football. So the Patriots will have still one more opportunity. John Zamberlin recovered the fumble. And John's going to keep the football. I don't blame him. That's time of possession. When John has it, nobody takes it away from him. Things change in a hurry. You know, here it is. The Jets had tipped balls that they're going in for touchdowns. Things were going their way. And all of a sudden, they're turning around and turning that football back to the Patriots. Two fumbles the last two times they've had the football. At the Jet 23-yard line, first down. The pitch is to Calhoun. Well, Kavanaugh took three steps of an option that got rid of the ball. There was only one option in Matt Kavanaugh's mind, and that was get the ball out to Calhoun. But that's what he was doing, going down the line of scrimmage, trying to entice uh, that linebacker and defensive end to converge on him. Blinka and Mel with the tackle, a gain of seven. Here we are, the turnovers. The Jets have turned it over three times to the Patriots' one. Had an interception and also two fumbles that... Uh, in problems for the New York Jets. Second and three. Vegas Ferguson. Ken Troy and Lance Mel with the tackle. He got into the line of scrimmage and kept looking for a hole. There really wasn't much of a hole there, but I've got enough yardage on his own to pick up the first down. He needed three and he got four. Just inside the 12 yard line of the New York Jets. Jets leading by 14. 323 and counting. Time remaining in the first half. Tony Collins and Don Calhoun. Are the running backs for the Patriots. Calhoun to the eight. Has four. It'll be second down six. Lions and Clicko make the tackle. Well, the Patriots on this drive coming here to the end of the first half, they've got to come away with some points. They're down 14 points. They've got to come away with at least three. Green Bay leading Tampa Bay by the score of seven to nothing. That's in the first quarter. Green Bay's uh, newest addition, J.J. Jefferson. Jefferson. It wasn't it wasn't uh, J.J. It was uh, Gary Ellis on a seven-yard run that provided the seven seven points for the pack. Tony Collins. Collins into the end zone. 
33 yard drive four plays Tony Collins scoring his fourth touchdown of the year his first of the ball game and it's a 21 13 score with the extra point to come. Well the Jets uh, they escaped the first time when the uh, the ball was fumbled on the punt but the second fumble they did not resulting in a touchdown for the Patriots Collins 40 yards eight carries and a touchdown here's the extra point attempt the hole by Kavanaugh the kicker is John Smith and it is good so it's a 21 to 14 ball game the Jets now lead by seven. Here's the replay number 73 big John Hanna pulling around and he gets through the uh, through the hole now he gets into the end zone now big John Hanna can get into the end zone that means that there is a hole there for the running back 75 Bob Kreider also out in front good blocking by that offensive line of the Patriots coming up with a touchdown and now narrowing the margin to just one touchdown 21 to 14. A report on Marvin Powell as a strained back has been replaced by John Roman, but he could return. And John Smith will be kicking off. Lamb Jones and Kurt Sohn, the two deep backs for New York. 2.31 left to go. First half. It is high and short. Taken to the 10 yard line by Sohn. To the 20. And down at the 24 yard line. So the Jets set up shot 26 yards away from the end zone as Blackman makes the tackle for the Patriots. Well, the last two times the Jets had the football or they had their hands on the football, they turned it right around to the Patriots. And I'm sure that that's on their mind right now. And Richard Todd is probably telling his backs if he has called a running play, hey, hold on to the football. That's, they're going to get anything, make them work for it. Marvin Powell is back in the ball game at right tackle for New York. First down, Jets their own 24 yard line. Augustiniak gets the call. He bobbled the ball for a moment, but he was already down at the 29, so he has five. It'll be second and five. Mike Hawkins with the tackle. Well, right away, Marvin Powell came back into the ball game. They said, well, let's find out if Marvin's all right because they ran right at his side. Picked up good yardage, too. We're coming, coming up on the yeah. two-minute warning. And Richard Todd heads to the far sideline for a conference. Two minutes left to go in the first half. The score, the New York Jets 21, the New England Patriots 14, where as Rick Sanford also is the number one. So they have five men that play in the secondary that are all number one draft choice. Bruce Harper, Tom Newton, the two running backs. Todd throws, far side, pass complete. First down. Lamb Jones, that is only his second reception of the year and it may not stand up as a flag was dropped back at the 22 yard line. If it's offensive holding you'll put the eraser on the game. I saw one of the Jets trying to pick up the yellow flag and put it in his pocket but he didn't have a pocket. So they're going to bring that ball back. It'll be offensive holding a 10 yard penalty. Here once again the New York Jets with penalties hurting themselves coming into the ball game they were leading the National Football League with penalties. And they're holding on to that statistic. Well, that's a statistic you don't want because here it is. Now, instead of a first down. Holding 66 offense. No. Randy, no. Randy Rasmussen, 36 no. years of age. No, I can't In believe that. Year. Here they are, the uh, penalties, three to one. Second and 50. 151 left to go, first half. Jets lead by seven, 21 14. Todd to throw. Has pressure and he is sacked. Julius Adams got him. That is the first sack of the ball game for the Patriots, and only their fourth on the year. He did an excellent job of blowing right by Chris Ward. He got the jump on him, and generally a defensive. But you take a look at the uh, the left part of your screen. 72 is Chris Ward, and if you're going to beat an offensive tackle, generally you're going to do it in about the first two or three steps to get him turned, to get him moving. And that's what happened on that play. And New England takes a timeout, stopping the clock with a minute 43 left to go. And that front three of the Patriots taking some views and Rod Schott make the tackle. The Patriots stop the clock. 135 left to go in the first half, and Chuck Ramsey will be kicking. 
you know, you hear a few of the, the, the people booing that because of that running play, but. Uh, Third and sure 24, that's a good choice. Well, it's a long way to go to pick up a first down, and if you throw the football and it's incomplete, you're going to stop the clock. So they didn't feel that they were going to pick up that first down, so they're going to keep it on the ground and force the Patriots to utilize one of their timeouts. It was a draw play or a delay play, hoping that uh, perhaps they could break a, break that running back loose into the secondary. Mike Haynes will be returning the kick of Chuck Ramsey. This is Ramsey's second punt. His first one went 42 yards. You're always interested in what a ball club does on first down because that sets up the series. The Jets have been averaging 7.7 .7 yards on 13 first down plays. New England in 14 first down plays have been averaging under two yards, 1.8. Big difference. Which means that on second down, the Patriots are in a passing situation, which takes the guesswork away from the Jets. Here's the kick. Barely gets it away, and it is a good one. Haynes takes it at the 33 to the 35. And he is down at the 38. So he has five yards on the return. Lance Mel was there for the New York Jets. An excellent kick by Chuck Ramsey. And it's excellent coverage by the New York Jets because Haynes had absolutely no place to go. Patriots have a first down, a 51-yard kick by Ramsey. 124 left to go in the half. Well, looky here. Atlanta is coming back. They are now leading the Los Angeles Rams in the second quarter by the score of 21 to 20. Bartkowski throwing two touchdown passes in that, in that ball game. Kavanaugh's pass is complete tight end. Hasselbeck has it. And he is dropped at the 44-yard line. A gain of seven. Greg Buttle makes the tackle. 110 in counting. Second down and three. Throwing it away to stop the clock. Morgan caught it out of bounds. It'll be third and three with exactly one minute left to go in the half. Now they have to pick up the first down. They should have had a play called where they uh, were going to throw the ball to the sidelines, but they did that rather deeply, though, threw it out of bounds, but a play to pick up the first down. Because now what are they going to do if it's third down and they don't pick up the first down? They're going to have to punt the ball away. Ken Toller comes in, the rookie from Mississippi, number 82. Three wide receivers, Morgan, Jackson, and Toller. Andy Johnson is the remaining back. Hasselbeck the tight end in motion. Kavanaugh's pass oh, yeah. is way under yeah. thrown to Harold Jackson. And Jackson was wide, wide open. The defensive line of the Jets made that play because Harold Jackson was wide open. He not only would have had the first down, but had he been able to turn up field and somebody missed a tackle, could have been six points. But here again, I was saying before, just throwing the ball away to stop the clock is one thing, but if you only need about three yards, you ought to have a play call that you could pick up the first down, throw it to the back out in the flat, and let him jump out of bounds. Now they've got to punt it away. Hertzone and Ken Troy set for the return of Ken Hartley's kick. High hanging ball, fair catch call for at the 21-yard line. Hertzone with the fair catch at the 21. Seconds left to go in the first half. The marker, of course, stopping the clock. And the conference being held at the 21 yard line. Don't forget halftime. NFL 81. Ryan Gumbel will be updating all the scores and highlights in what has been the year of the upset. First of foul against the Jets. On the Jets with two. Outside the 25. He has 15 yards of the play and a first down. It, it creates a problem. Now they were ready to run out the clock, but they made such good yardage on that. 30 seconds remaining. If they make another good play like that, they'll call timeout and try to get something. Dodd going over the middle, and it's caught. 44 yard line. Now they'll stop the clock. 19 and counting. 
Wesley Walker pulled it in. The clock is stopped with 18 seconds left. First half. That run, to have a shot at it, is because of the running play. Now with that timeout, the statistic that you saw changes because the Jets have only one timeout remaining. New England has one. Remember that New York had to call a timeout in the first minute and a half of the ball game when they had a mix-up at their end of the field. That play from Richard Todd to Wesley Walker covered 18 yards. Walker now four receptions for 67 yards and a touchdown. And the last two ball games, he's uh, had receptions over 200 yards. He's, uh, I think, got off to a slow start, but uh, he's catching up in a hurry. Against Houston, he had eight for 128 yards and two touchdowns. Against Miami, eight for 112 and two touchdowns. So he's right on target for another kind of an outing. 44 yard line. 18 seconds left to go. New York in their own territory. First half. Todd has completed 11 of 16. He's thrown for three touchdowns. Oh, Julius thing. Adams just led her to the jet backfield. Now was he pulled off? He's saying that he was. He's pointing the finger at offensive lineman. From tackle to tackle, once an offensive lineman goes to the set, the three of the four point stands, he cannot move. Apparently there was no motion. Rod Schott is exchanging greetings also with the Jets. A lot of finger pointing going on. Well, they're taking a look over here. You're allowed to come to a three point stance, but you can't can move. We that? Can we look at that again? Look at Rasmussen, the left guard. Did he move his uh, right foot? Was that a motion that I saw? If we can pick that up again. Offside, defense, first down. Well, we don't have time. Second penalty against New England for a total of 34 yards. You remember the 29 yard pass interference penalty to the one yard line. Sideline pattern is complete and out of bounds. Walker has it. Stops the clock. 13 seconds. Good timing by Richard Todd. He took about three or four steps back, fired that ball to the outside. He read the defense very well, knew that, that Wesley Walker was going to be out there, and he got the ball to him in a hurry. He got out of bounds. As you can see right now, it's man to man coverage. The ball is on its way. Before he even made the cut to the outside, the ball is hitting right on the numbers. Richard Todd is impressing me now. I've seen him in the past, and he's had a lot of inconsistency, but he seems to be much more sure of himself now. A gain of 19 to the 37-yard line of New England. Out of the backfield, this is Bruce Harper. He'll have to take the timeout, 33-yard line, five seconds and counting. They stop it right at the five seconds. Field goal, Tom. Five seconds left to go in the half. To that run because they were real willing to run out the clock with what was it 30 some seconds to, to go in the first half but they they made good yardage on that run so that changed the whole idea the whole complexion of what they were attempting to do before half at least now because of that run if they had picked up a couple of yards they wouldn't have called timeout they'd have run the ball again said keep your hands on the ball and don't fumble it and ran out the clock at least now because of that one play they at least have an opportunity to get some more points on the board. The line of scrimmage, the 33, so he'll be kicking for the 40, an attempt of 50 yards, adding the 10 yards in the end zone. His longest this year is 49 yards. He has hit five of eight. If you take a look at the uh, the, the stringers on the, on the goal post, if anything, the wind should be helping him. was a kick of about 65 yards in the air but he was off to the right side and time runs out as Leahy